In probably 24, we're given the number of trees per acre in the base layer of the stand, and we want to know the QMD. Then we want to interpret these data and sort of look at what the most common product class on this stand is based on just the average tree size. Um, we'll take it a step further than the actual question, though. Uh, back in 23, we looked at determining whether we should thin a stand or not based on interpreting relative density. So let's go ahead and do that again because we'll have all the data we need to do that. And so first off, uh, I'll take this QMD equation here. I have basal area, I have trees per acre. Um, and so let's see here, QMD equals basal area over trees per acre. So that's gonna be 215 divided by 125. And so I do that in my calculator first. Then I divide that by 0 0.005454, get that number in my calculator. Then order of operations, I take the square root of all that. And that should give me 17.8 inch diameter trees. So what's the product class? I mean, they could be poorly formed and be pulpwood, but you know, if these are good formed trees, say we're looking at southern yellow pines, it doesn't give us a species in this problem. That could certainly be saw timber sized. Um, even for hardwoods, if these are oaks, sycamores, sweet gums, those are plenty big enough trees that those could be saw timber sized. So that, that kind of more directly answers our question here, saw timber sized, 17.8 inches. But again, let's take it a step forward. Let's say, the problem doesn't give you this, let's say hypothetically, what if these are short leaf pines? Well, we know the max SD for short leaf pine, Max SDI. Let's see if I can write SDI correctly. Equals 400. That's 410 inch tree spray. So now that we have QMD, let's plug this into S SDI. And so step one from problem 23 that we've already done. SDI equals, okay, how many tree spray did I have? 125 multiplied by 17.8, that's my QMD, which I calculated from basal area, divided by 10, raised to the 1.605 power, those are my brackets. So again, order of operation, divide 17.8 by 10, get 1.78, then raise 1.78 to the 1.605 power. Once you have that calculated, then multiply by 125, and this gives me an SDI of 315, 10-inch trees per acre. Okay, step two, I calculate the load density. And that's going to be, again, SDI over max SDI. So here, my SDI is 315. My max SDI, I know, is 400 for short leaf pine. And this tells me you know, this will actually give you 0 0.79. I always then just multiply by 100. This tells me it's 79%. So step three, interpret that relative density. Well, look at that. That's way over where we expect mortality to be occurring, right? Mortality is going to occur in the 55 to 58% range. So the interpretation here would be thin this stand. That's really high. Maybe that's a stand that needs to be regenerated, I mean, if your trees are almost 18 inches diameter, you have a really high basal area, a lot of trees breaker. This might be a stand that's at the end of its rotation, and you're looking at clear cutting, doing a seed tree, um, some other regeneration. So there's more than the problem asked for, but again, good, good helpful practice to figure out these three steps to make that decision on thin it or regenerate. I'll even write thin it and maybe regenerate. There you go.